Hey, uh, Shalom Israel, uh, Yasharala. Uh, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who pushed this truth and sincerity. And uh, salutation to you brothers out there on the highways and byways that's pushing this truth in its fullness. Uh, salutation to you brothers. Uh, this is the um, Kazaki Hawada. Um, I just, uh, the spirit got on me to kind of put together this this the sit down you know um right as of, as of today it's the 21st of uh, march and we know that uh we have the passover um tomorrow which uh, starts uh on the 27th of esau uh, calendar but uh sundown will be the 15th day which marks the beginning of our uh passover uh, and uh you know uh I was thinking it kind of, um, you know, I was thinking and uh, pretty much uh, the spirit led me to do this lesson, uh, Lord willing to be edifying for you brothers out there and um, you sisters, the few sisters that do watch us, um, pretty much last year we, uh, we made a journey to go and see the elders to, um, for the Passover, travel to New, to New York, you know, and whatnot. Uh, and upon that trip, you know, uh, the brothers of uh, GMS uh, at the time, GMS Belly of Hell, we all, you know, traveled together, you know, made the trip. And uh, we went, partook of the Passover one night. And uh, pretty much, you know, when we, uh, all the brothers, when we all exited, you know, the, the, the place where we congregated for the Passover, uh, you know, the uh, elders and apostles, you know, they divvied up whatever. Um, the leftovers if brothers wanted to eat it or whatnot, you know. And uh, pretty much they told the brothers and they reminded and emphasized it that brothers make sure that you throw out that, you know, that lamb and whatever, you know, make sure that you throw that out or burn it, you know. So um, pretty much uh, what I'm going to do is just go into a few scriptures and uh, and expound on that, that account, you know, from last year. Uh, this is Exodus chapter 12. Uh, I'm going to start from, um, I'm going to start from 7 just uh, for be mindful of time. It's Exodus chapter 12, and I'm um, starting from uh, 6. It says, And ye shall keep it until the 14th day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the, in the evening, and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in the night, uh, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with the bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. And this is the point. It says, And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning. Uh, let me read that again. So like, ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn uh, with fire. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded and you in your shoes on your feet uh and your staff in your hand and ye shall eat it in haste it is the lord's passover uh for i will pass through the land of egypt this night uh you know but that's the point um you know so you should let nothing remain of it till the morning so uh pretty much what happened um one of the brothers you know we had the lamb or whatnot left over and uh we went back to the hotel whatnot and the brother asked me did i want it and you know, I, I said I wanted, you know, you know, wanted to eat it, cause you know, Jay, growing up, you know, you learn, you know, not to leave food behind, and you know, not to waste food and shit, you know, shit that you, you know, cause we, <laughs> you know, we grow up, you know, not with not with much, you know, so that's things that you know our parents taught us, you know, like you know, you know, waste food and shit, you know, but you know, make a long story short, pretty much, you know, that's I guess being a little gluttonous, you know, uh, you know, one to eat, you know, eat more, you know what I mean. Um, pretty much uh I, I forgot to throw off the um the lamb you know and, and what <laughs> what happened the next day you know it was very spiritual because um you know when i woke up it was very spiritual the brothers asked me like did you make sure you throw out the lamb and i was like uh uh i didn't i didn't you know i threw it in the trash you know uh in the morning but i just it was still on the table so i didn't throw it out so you know they was like oh no I'm, I, you, you should have you should have threw it out. You should have threw it out. So, you know, it's like we went to leave, you know, went to the, 
you know, pretty much went to the um, to the air to the uh, airport, and in Connecticut, what happened? The airport was shut down because of the weather. Then, guess what? <laughs> in order for us to pretty much get another flight, we would have had to go and fly, drive to the airport, which was in New York, but they were shut down as well. On that particular day, there was a snow snow blizzard, and all the um, if you remember that uh, all the airports was down for a while. So what had to what happened was uh, we would have had to purchase another tick uh, more tickets. You know what I'm saying? Because we those tickets were gone now. We missed the flights. Uh, so we had to end up driving all the way to I believe Phila Philadelphia, if I'm not mistaken, from I believe New York. Then from there we had to I believe fly to Cleveland. Then from Cleveland we had to drive all the way back to Detroit. So, you know, it, the Lord had mercy on us, but he had he was uh basically he was chastening us, you know, as the brothers were saying when it was happening, you know, we had a bad feeling cuz you know, I didn't throw out that 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 lamb, you know. Um and pretty much well, you know, the Lord just put hell on us, you know, for not not following that little thing. So, you know, pretty much I'm going to, you know, pull out some more scriptures real quick. Uh, this is Judges uh, chapter 5 and 11 they that are delivered from the noise of the arches and the places of drawing water there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel you know um, and that's pretty much what we're doing we're rehearsing the righteous acts you know what I'm saying and uh, it says they that are delivered from the noise of the arches and the places of drawing water which pretty much we know that America is our captivity how do we know that that represents captivity is because when you go to the book of Joshua chapter 9 you realize well you'll see that when um, the the Canaanites uh, they came to make a league with us because they knew they were going down you know we made them drawers of um, what is that drawers of, of drawers of water and he was a wood so that represents servitude you know so um pretty much we know that this is a solemn assembly and we know that this is a solemn assembly because when we go to Leviticus chapter 23 he tells you in verse 2 that uh, which ye shall proclaim to be the holy convocations even these are my feasts and he goes on to list you know the uh, the Passover the feast of unleavened bread the, the, the feast of dedications the feast of tabernacles and uh, those are his holy convocations you know, uh, those uh, when you go into those words deeper, holy being sacred or separate, you know what I'm saying, convocations, uh, gatherings or meetings, you know what I'm saying? So we know that these are our sacred meetings, our secret, sacred gatherings, you know, and we are to follow them in, in a certain order, you know what I mean? Because when you go back to Exodus chapter 12, verse 14, it says, And this day shall be unto you a memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast. To the Lord Yahweh throughout your generations, you shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. So these are the orders. These are orders that the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahshua has set before, uh, set up before us, the nation of Israel, Yahshua Allah, the Native Americans, the Latinos, the Mexicans, um, and the Negroes. You know what I'm saying? Those that suffered uh, suffered under those curses. You know, um, and pretty much my, my whole point of uh, making this video was just to share the story with you brothers to let y'all know how uh, how serious this is you know uh, brothers gonna be in the spirit tonight you know going over the Passover for tomorrow you know uh, reading over no stay in the spirit so you know I just wanted to share the story um, hopefully you know you brothers can get some um, some light out of it you know whatnot and um, learn from my mistakes because uh, that's what we are supposed to do we are supposed to uh, you know give brothers advice and you know we don't want brothers to make the same mistakes that we make so um with that uh i want to say um call hello yahweh by shim yahweh shy uh double honors to a great um to the to the apostles and the elders a great millstone and uh peace and salutations to you brothers out there that's pushing this truth and sincerity um peace and shalom to you brothers uh call me